Hi, time to take a look at the game Swansea versus Arsenal this week um, at the Liberty Stadium. The Premier League is back and this is another must-win game for Arsenal. Uh, playing against Swansea. Swansea, as we know, not been playing very well this season. They're right down there near the bottom, second from bottom in the league. And this really is a game that Arsenal must win. We need the three points from this game. Um, particularly when you look at some of the fixtures of some of the other big teams around us uh, uh, this weekend. Uh, Chelsea, they got a pretty tricky trip away to Leicester City. That's going to be difficult for them. Um, tricky game for as well for uh, you know Man United and, and Liverpool. They're clashing against each other, so they're going to even they're going to somehow take points off of each other. So this is really an opportunity for Arsenal to get three points and to put themselves back in that race for the title. Now, if we're going to have any aspirations at all of winning the title, these are the sort of games that we really have to win. And Swansea at the moment, let's face it, they've been very, very poor. Their defence has been terrible, and they've just been all over the place. Now, they're going to have the knock-on effect of having a brand new manager. Paul Clement has taken over. He was a previously assistant to Ancelotti at Bayern Munich. They brought him in. Not a very experienced manager in the Premier League. He was at Derby. He didn't do that great. Um, but listen, new managers bring new ideas, uh, can sometimes you know, reinvigorate the team, and it's just our luck that we're catching them as they've got a new manager. Um, so you might see a Swansea that are a lot more fired up than they have been in recent times. I mean, I think this could be his first game as manager at the Liberty Stadium. So he's going to be really getting stuck into the team and really, really firing them up. Um, however, come on, Arsenal. This is the sort of game we could win. Bob Bradley took over when they came to the Emirates and we beat them there. And at their place, we've got a fantastic record. I mean, if you look at the record against Swansea, um, Arsenal's record against them is, is really, really outstanding. And, you know, we should really be able to you know, go there and really beat them. Let, let's take a look at the stats on that. Um, Swansea have lost three of their last four home games against Arsenal. So away from home, going to the Liberty Stadium, we've been very strong. So, you know, great record against them. Uh, Swansea have only won uh, 15 points from their last 20 games this season. That's their worst ever return at this stage of the season, so that's really, really poor. Swansea have lost 12 of the 14 Premier League games in which they've conceded the first goal. So that shows you that Arsenal really got to start the game fast. We've been playing a lot of games where we've really been starting the games um, really, really slowly. We cannot afford to do that in this game. We've really got to get stuck into them right from the offset. If we do that, we'll have a lot of joy because as you can see from that stat, when normally when they concede the first goal, their heads drop. So we really got to get stuck in. Swansea also, um, you know, we've got to remember, beat Crystal Palace 2-1 in their last Premier League game. Um, however, they did lose 2-0 to Hull in the FA Cup. And, uh, you know, again... You know, that was a great win for them at Palace. Uh, another team that's down there, a surprise win for them. Um, but they've lost the Hull. Again, the Hull, a team that's really been struggling. And, uh, of course, the danger man for Swansea is Gilfie Sigurdsson. He's a guy that makes them tick. I mean, they've got other good players like Leroy Fur. You know, they've got Lorente, who's, um, you know, real physical presence up front. But Gilfie Sigurdsson is the one that is really, really going to be, you know, the guy that he pulls the strings. He's brilliant from set pieces. He's, he's, his his set-piece deliveries are brilliant. So he can't afford to give away free kicks in and around the box. He hurt us, I think, in the first game from a set-piece. So he is a quality player that Arsenal really have to take care of. Bit of good news for Nacho Monreal in particular, if he plays in this game, right? And that's the uh, Mo Barrow... <laughs> Right. who absolutely ripped Monreal to shreds in the last game. Madu, Madu Barrow, he's out. He's not going to be playing in the game. And also, Jefferson Montero, I remember tearing up. Um, who was it? I think it was, was it Jenkinson. Anyway, he teared up our team uh, one time when we played them. Again, a really quick player. Jefferson Montero's out as well. So probably be Routledge who will come in on that side. Again, another pacey player, another guy who scored goals against Arsenal before in the past. 
but those two real speed merchants are going to be out of the team. So <laughs> that'll be very, very good news for the Arsenal defence. And on the Arsenal defence, that's one area that we really have to tighten up. I mean, our defending has been quite terrible in the past few games. I mean, last week against Preston, Mustafi in particular was dreadful. I mean, I know he's just been coming back from injury, but he was absolutely terrible. And our defending, what's gone wrong with our defending? I mean, we were defending so well earlier on in the season, but recently our defence has been very, very poor. I mean, we've conceded in each of our last six Premier League away games. That is really, really poor. Conceding in each of our last six Premier League away games. Really, really poor from Arsenal. And also another stat, this is the longest running um, away record without a clean sheet since 2011. That is, you know, really got to put that right to have any chance of doing anything in this league. So the defending must improve tomorrow. And tomorrow we're going to be without Hector Bellerin. Um, Arsene Wenger saying in his press conference that, you know, Bellerin is still out injured, still a little bit away, you know, he doesn't want to risk him. So it doesn't look like Bellerin will play. So again, that's going to be a problem at the back. Monreal in the, in the first game when we played against Swansea, as I could say, got tore up by Barrow. He'll be glad, as I said, that he's out. But we've really, really got to tighten up the defending. Um, if we do that, you know, we've got a great chance of winning the game because as I said with that stat previously with Swansea, normally once they concede the first goal, they don't come back and win. And that means that we need a fast start in this game. We need a really fast start. And what formation should Arsenal go with? What team should Arsenal go with? Because there's a lot of firepower there now. Do you go with Alexis down the middle? Do we restore that? Or do you stick with Giroud, who's been on fire at the moment? That is something that is going to be really, really um, interesting to decide what we do in that area. I mean, I've um, put my team... I mean, Giroud, you know, he scored 12 goals out of his uh, last 17 shots on goal. I mean, that's absolutely incredible. But anyway, listen, uh, on this piece of paper here, a bit like the paper that Daniel Sturridge had the other night from Jurgen Klopp. Well, this is my paper, right? This is my team that I would go for to play against Swansea. And I want you guys to leave your teams in the comments below. I'd have Petr Cech in goal. Um, at right back now, remember what I said, Bellerin is out. Um, I know that um, Jenkinson is an option, but it looks like Arsenal are looking to sell Jenkinson. Uh, Wenger was asked about that at his press conference. And um, he dodged it a bit, but it seems pretty obvious that Jenkins is going to be on his way out, so they probably ain't going to want to risk him. Nateland Miles last week had a bit of a shaky time against Preston, so do you really want to be throwing him into this game? For me, I'd go Mustafi on the right-hand side. He knows that position, he plays that position um, for Germany, so i put Mustafi on the right. Gabriel and Koscielny, who'll be back um, in the middle, and Monreal, um, I think... Gibbs, you know, should be back, but I don't know how fit Gibbs is going to be. If it's a fully fit Gibbs, I probably would have went Gibbs ahead of Monreal, but because he's just returning, I'll go Monreal there. In the midfield, Jacka and Ramsey. It was big goal, big, big goal that Ramsey scored last week. That would do no harm at all to his confidence. His confidence has been low. It's his first goal of the season. He's returning back to Wales. He'll get a lot of stick off the the Swansea fans, but then, listen, maybe, you know, him being an ex-Cardiff boy, but maybe that might make him rise to the occasion. So I'd have Xhaka and Ramsey in the middle, Oxlade-Chamberlain um, out on the right, Ozil, who should be fit again, um, I'd have him restored to his number 10 place. Now, on the left-hand side, this is a bit of a conundrum for me, do you go Iwobi or do you go Lucas Perez? Lucas Perez, who, who's, you know, came in last week, looked very impressive um, against Preston um, and you know again the game previous to that that big goal he scored against Bournemouth oh it's a really hard one for me um, I think I'll stick with Iwobi I'll go Iwobi on the left hand side but he's really going to have to put it in and then controversially probably here I'm go Alexis down the middle I will go I've looked at games with Swansea and their defence is very very poor and for me, if you attack that defence with pace and get in behind it, we're going to get a lot of joy. So that's why I'd go with that. And then you've got loads of firepower on the bench. Look at this bench. 
You've got Giroud who you can bring off of that bench and you know that every time he's been coming off the bench this season, he's been devastating. You can bring Lucas Perez off the bench. You can bring Danny Welbeck off the bench as well. Remember, he came on and looked very sharp last week. So there's lots of firepower that if it's not going our way, we can bring on to turn this game around. So me, I'm confident going into that game tomorrow um, that Arsenal can win the game. Um, I really am confident about it. I think that it's a game that we know we've got to win. But we got to start the game quickly. Our last few games away from home, the start of the game has been too lethargic. This is where Wenger has got to earn his money. He's got to say to those players tomorrow, start that game quickly. Yeah? They're that they're second from bottom in the league. You get stuck into them right from the beginning, get an early goal, their confidence is going to be on the floor. But if you don't do that, it's going to rise and rise and rise and rise and rise and they'll feel that they can get something out of it. If we start quickly, we win the game all day long. What do you guys think? Leave it in the comments below, but looking forward to the game. Swansea versus Arsenal at Liberty Stadium, 3 o'clock kickoff UK time, and we will be down there as usual. So make sure you check us out if you're there.